and welcome to this On the Shelf Showcase. My name is Sirix and today I'm going to be discussing Bendy in the Ink Machine. Do you like fast-paced platformer action? Are you thrilled by non-linear action-adventure games with RPG elements? If so, then you're watching a weird video because Bendy is not these things. What Bendy is, however, is fun. I don't generally enjoy what most would deem a walking simulator, and I have been repeatedly told by semi-reliable sources, and at least one on-the-shelf co-host, that this game is just that. But if you peel back the layers of an onion, you, you find more onion. You know what? The metaphor doesn't really apply here. Look, Bendy is very much your run here, run there, explore type game. They add in some mild combat elements, but for the most part, you're told to fetch a thing or six, and then upon completion, you start the cycle over. So yes, it can appear to be very much a walking sim, but like other walking sims before it that have done well, Bendy is all about storytelling. I'm not gonna lie, this game is not for everyone. I was a bit turned off at first myself, but as I continued through it and completed the first chapter, I began to get an eerie feel for how atmospheric this game truly is. It's reminiscent of old cartoons like Steamboat Willie, and that art style is timeless for me. But what really stuck out was the atmosphere. They managed to fit in a couple of jump scares which aren't extremely terrifying, but if you step back and soak it all in, the game gives you a nice Bioshock mixed with Outlast kind of feel. It certainly sucked me in as a fan of both of those series which is proven by the fact that in the course of two nights, I played the game in its entirety. Looking back, it's short enough to play in a single sitting if you have the time, and the incentive for a second playthrough comes in the form of a special item you get in a later chapter, as now you can use it to explore more in the previous ones. Another borrowed element of Bioshock is the tape recordings. You have relatively little information about what is going on, and even less knowledge of the background behind the game's story, so sprinkled throughout the chapters are various tape recorders which you can listen to, and read a transcript of by interacting with them. You start to learn about the various people who worked in the animation studio you're trudging through. You get some background on some of the people turned monsters, and the occasional hint about a puzzle or area you're working through. We don't really give scores to games on this channel, at least we haven't started yet, but what I will do is praise this game. It's currently a tad hard to find as it's a GameStop exclusive and they seem to be sold out. But it could get a restock or even lose its exclusivity. At which point, if you prefer physical games as we do, I definitely suggest picking this one up. It retails for $29.99, but I picked it up on sale for $19.99 before it disappeared everywhere. This is definitely a quiet surprise and enjoyable game. It won't be for everyone, but I certainly enjoyed it. This has been Sirix from On The Shelf. Thanks for joining me in this showcase of Bendy and the Ink Machine from Joey Drew Studios and Rooster Teeth. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you thought of the game. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and also hit that bell for notifications when we upload new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.